This is what the current Lamar de Cartre school site looks like, and this is what's planned. The state first approved a move to redevelop the schools back in 2002, and come November, members will make a decision on whether these plans will become a reality. It means equality of provision um, and also big improvements in the fabric of the building, which is crumbling. Um, we have a fabulous school, but we do need now the facilities to match the education. Costing just under £65 million, the project has not sought the support of all of the members of the Treasury and Resources Board. It is a huge amount of money, I accept that, without inflation. But actually, if you look at how much uh, Bow Camp costs per child, how much uh, St. Sampson's costs per child, uh, this is actually better value. Um, it, it's, I don't like the word cheaper, but it is better value than what, was, what those two schools cost. And we're, we're doing an awful lot more with this area than we did with those schools. The new schools will feature an indoor sports hall which can be used for club-level competitions, an all-weather pitch, floodlit tennis and netball courts, and a base for the communication and autism support centre. All the other children would have... A um, a better space to work. I'm, I really like the look of the new school because of all the new facilities they're going to build. I'm excited because all the younger children will be happy with the new school. If states members approve the plans, work will start on the new schools next year with the hope of having the work done and the school up and running by September 2017. Faye Cleary, BBC Channel Islands News, Guernsey.